<laughs> get a life nerd. Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd Up, Level Up. I'm your host, Alkali Lake, and today we're gonna to be talking about something really cool, something I really love to do, which is big builds, and specifically big competition builds. And one of the things I get asked a lot is, where do I start on a big build? So this is gonna be a three or four part series, I haven't decided yet, and today is all about dissecting a cosplay and first off, deciding which elements you are making. Uh, I think one of the best things to do when you're gonna tackle a big build is to find out exactly how many things you're going to need to make. Once you decide how many elements are part of the cosplay, then you can decide, do I really want to do that? Today, uh, we are going to be dissecting Bane Bloodhoof, which is my next big build, and this build is just, it's massive. Um, and I've done big builds before. I have done um, a Drain Eye Paladin, which is was huge and had stilts and all the stuff. Um, I did a Goblin Mech from World of Warcraft. Um, I've done so many cool big builds, and even, even this build intimidates me. I'm like, there's a lot of stuff to make. So anyway, let's start there and let's dive right in so you can find out how to start your next big build. So this is Bane Bloodhoof. He is the uh, current high chieftain of the Torin in World of Warcraft. And look at him. He's such a badass. Like, I, I cannot wait to do this cosplay. Um, I am concerned about how long it will take but that's gonna be another video. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but um, this is this is my next big build. I got this uh, image from Wowhead. Uh, Wowhead will often have a lot of uh, pictures and 3D renderings, and the cool thing about them is you can move them around, which allows you to get um, many different, well, I mean, not many, all the different looks of what you're trying to build. So I really like this as a resource, especially if you're going to be doing a World of Warcraft cosplay. So this is Bane Bloodhoof, and he is massive. Um, I have to look it up. That's going to be part of the build um, to find out how tall he is. I know he is one and a half times taller than most Torrens. So um, I need to look up the size of a Torin, so let's do that quickly together. Torin are six to seven feet tall. Okay. <laughs> they are seven, wait, it says Torin are six to seven feet tall. They are seven to eight feet tall, the tallest race in Azeroth. Hmm. All right, so we have this image here, which is interesting. Height of playable races in WoW. See if we can get this image up. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but it says Torin are seven to eight feet tall. So we're gonna go with this. And so if Bane is one and a half times taller than most other Torins, <laughs> then that's gonna put him at like nine feet tall. I'll get the exact dimensions later, but that's gonna factor into the build quite considerably. So step one, find out the dimensions of your hero, whatever you're portraying. Um, so, <laughs> so you can build this to scale, which I plan on doing. I will show you another video later on what that looks like. I'm going to be printing out um, a scaled photo of Bane to go on my wall so I can make sure all of this stuff is to scale. But anyway, we start at step one, which is your list of items. So I just have a simple uh, word pad pulled up here. Um, it'll drop, you know, down as I as I switch between different views here. Um, one thing I do want to point out on Wowhead specifically is you can change also um, the stance. Currently, we're on Art Bow Loop, I believe. Yes, Art Bow Loop, um, and you can switch it. So this is Art Shield which is kind of nice because it allows us to look on the side here um, and get a better image of some other parts, like especially his um, markings here. So another cool thing to do if you didn't know is to switch out of the different looks. Um, you can also kind of, if you really want to go deep, you can <laughs> get different looks at their actions in game um, and it'll give you another view, but that's a bit repetitive and a bit too much. So we're just gonna go back to Artbow loop here. 
which it gave me this other view, which is odd, but that's okay. This is good. Um, so we'll start here, pull up my WordPad again. So this is where I start with every single big build. Let's break it down. So breaking down the big build, what do we need to pull this off? First of all, we know that Bane is very tall. So I am going to need stilts of some sort. Um, I think for this particular one, um, my uh, husband is going to be wearing this. So I think I'm gonna go for metal frame stilts. Um, we'll get into sources and materials on my next video, but I just wanted to note that right now so I can remember it. Um, I think the next video is going to be after you create your list of items, then we're gonna go in and create what we wanna make them out of. And then after that, we're gonna go in and figure out a budget and pricing. But first off, list of items. So stilts, I'm going to need stilts. Let's start from the bottom and go right up to the top. So I need to make, we're not talking about materials right now, but I need to make hooves. These go over the stilts. After the hooves, it looks like we have some sort of binding. It doesn't look like this is uh, armor. This is definitely fabric and I don't necessarily, oh, actually the bottom looks like it might be armor. Um, I don't exactly know what they're called. Leg wraps? Maybe we'll call them leg wraps and then we'll call like the eagle head knee armor. But yeah, leg wraps? Let, let's start. Let's call them that. Okay. <laughs> leg wraps. And then we need, uh, we need to make um, eagle head knee armor. And then there's this middle thigh wrap around thing. I don't know what this is. It's like a, like a bracelet. It's like a bracelet for his thighs. That's odd. Okay, thigh bracelet. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, moving up, it looks like we have a loin cloth. You gotta have a good loin cloth. Um, we have a belt and then we have a, what do we call it? Like a belt shield? What, what do you call that? Like a belt buckle? Oh yeah, I guess it's like a goal belt buckle. It's interesting to do it like this, you guys, I promise, because, um, ooh, actually, you know what? Maybe I should have numbered these. Ah, too much work right now. Um, you'll see how much work you need to do. So this is why I always do this. How much work do I need to do? Is it worth it? <laughs> okay, something interesting about this, and I promise I'm not a total creep, although it's gonna definitely seem like I am. If you turn him upside down, you're gonna find out what his undergarments are. Um, and he's definitely wearing some form of Torin panties. Torin panties a torin boxer briefs i don't know you call these boxer briefs or like torin panties I, th I think we're gonna go with torin panties and i want to note the uh <laughs> the tail hole okay so yeah let's let's call it torin panties you know bonus with a tail hole <laughs> great Okay, um, also important to note, he's got this um, side pouch, side pouch. And then moving up, also let's make note, now this is a big deal, we need to do a complete muscle suit. The muscle suit is also going to need hands, because his hands, if you take a look at this, have three fingers, right? Very odd. It's a very odd hand. Three fingers this is very interesting. So I'm going to have to make gloves like this. Basically, we're getting Star Trek hand. Super cool. I don't I don't yet know how I'm doing this, but it's going to happen. Star Trek Torin gloves. Wait, 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 wait. We need to name it that. Star Trek Torin gloves. Perfect. Right. And then we're also going to need a massive head. So giant 
Torin head. I'm not going to do prosthetics this time like I did when I made Garrosh Hellscream. Um, this is going to be a full um, kind of like a like mascot suit sort of, but like, you know, cooler. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make note of those things uh, before I forgot. Uh, also, we need wrist armor jewels. For the wrist armor but with jewels that's important to note because you're gonna have to be resin casting or you have to buy the jewels somewhere if you're not resin casting them um if the jewels are specific shaped sometimes you might even need to sculpt them um and then uh mold them and then cast them so that's it's very interesting part of writing out the build because you start realizing what you need to do um and the materials needed so Moving up from the wrists, we now uh, head on up to, we'll do this like prop last. Um, so he has giant horns. So giant horns. We have lots of jewelry. Jewelry. Um, and that includes horn, jewelry, nose ring, and then are those on his ears? I can't. Nope, that's just all horn jewelry. Oh, but he does have jewelry in his ears. See, I love this wow head stuff because I can now see the two rings in the left ear and then, oh, no rings in the right ear. Okay, so two rings on the left and then these really cool giant horn earrings. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. So we're gonna go with horn earrings. So horn, horn jewelry, horns jewelry, what girl? Orange jewelry, nose ring, um, and then earrings. So there's that jewelry. Uh, then we have, oh my gosh, this massive headdress. Massive headdress. Let's take a look at this. Zoom to the side. Let's take a look from the top. Okay. All right, massive headdress. And also I wanna take note, the left wrist guard also has a, like a built-on shield with this like bone slash tusk adornment. So we also need to make bone fragments, I suppose, which is um, another type of casting. So definitely increases our skill range. So um, let's go back up here to the wrist armor. We'll do wrist armor with jewels. We'll do wrist armor with large shield and bones. Okay. What else needs done for this cosplay? Let's, uh, we need a, we need hair. He needs hair. So what do we want to call that? Uh, I don't want to do it out of like fun for, I might even do textured fur foam is that his mane i think we'll call it like his hair slash mane yes all right and then this also i'm going to show you another image of this horn it is so freaking epic i cannot stand it so oh i'm so excited um i have another photo that is not an in-game reference like this um it was a painting done for world of warcraft of bane i don't know the artist's name but once i figure it out i will put it um in the description but this horn here is like one of the most badass pieces on this entire build it is so freaking cool um but i'm gonna pull up another image to show you that so first off we have these totems so totems, uh, and then we have uh, a horn, and then we have the, whatever this is called, totem strap. I guess we call it a totem strap. All right, so as far as this image goes for reference, these are the things that we have to build. Now, we'll do another breakdown later in another episode of this talking about breaking down these pieces because for example, let's talk about uh let's talk about this belt. Um 
I like to break down the individual, individual, I can talk, I think, uh, individual pieces as well. So this belt alone is going to need um, skull work. It's going to need metal work or, you know, faux metal. We need to make foam look like metal. Um, there's fabric, there's leather, there's trim. Um, there's an attachment in the back. Um, I think this loincloth might actually be attached to it. I'm unsure. So, um, Ooh, and we need an, uh, it looks like the side pouch attaches to the belt somehow as well. So just in the belt alone, we have, um, possibly resin work, sculpting, uh, foam work, leather work, fabric work, attachment work, um, painting. So, I mean, you're starting to really understand why I break down builds this way. I 100% encourage everyone who's going to do a big build, really any build, but especially a big build and start here. List out every single thing your eye can see that needs made. You will not regret it. All right, let me show you one last photo. All right, so this is the last photo I wanted to show you about the cosplay. It's also important that when you're breaking down your build and taking these first steps that you look at other reference images. We can also see in this image that he has a another weapon um, and potentially I'm is that. Oh, we forgot to write tail. I need to make his tail. Okay, I thought that might be a bow in the background over here, but it's definitely his tail. And oh, hey, in this photo, um, I can see the artist name. It's um, W-E-I, is it Y or we? So I'll find the artist information, like I mentioned earlier, and put that down. But we can see a lot more detail here. Here he's got like a hammer. The horn is incredibly detailed, you guys. This is what I was talking about. And I'm absolutely going to put this cute little butterfly on it. So I get to make a butterfly too. I'm so stoked about this. Um, also, we get to see his markings a lot better. For example, on the left shoulder, we can see um, that he has, it's like a white paint that he's drawn on over his fur. Um, and we can see the horde symbol. So definite, really cool details we don't want to miss out. I can see in the feather work on the headdress that there's some painting done on the feathers too. I don't think they're jewels. I believe it's like a, like paint. Um, so there's these dots on there. There's these really cool red things on the side that I think is beadwork. So we're going to have to add beadwork to our job. Um, and then a lot more detail we can see um, on these wrist bracers as well. So if we want to do this build right, we're going to need to go into all of this detail that we can see here. So there was the in-game image that we saw earlier through Wowhead that was 3D. And now there's this image that we can see and we want to update our list. So from this, we can see that there is also a hammer weapon uh, that I would like to add. Um, it, I'll probably put it on the last of my lists. Um, but I would definitely like to add it if I can. Uh, and then we, uh, oh yeah, the tail. I have experience in making tails, so this should be good. And a butterfly. All right, so there's our list. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty. Five. So 25 components, but keep in mind a lot of these comp components get broken down into smaller components, but these are just the large pieces. And then the muscle suit in this cosplay, of course, is going to be a giant undertaking, um, especially since this is a Torin. They have sort of this like humped back back here, which I'm going to have to build some sort of framework, um, maybe even using like a chicken wire for like a, a cage in a way to, to build um, to build that volume out. So we we will get into that in the next video, which is going to be um, talking about materials and how to source your materials. So we did it. We got through step one, breaking down the big build, um, determining which components we are going to make. And yes, it's OK to leave out components if you don't want to make them as long as it doesn't impact the overall look of the character. For example, I would never leave out like the horns because he's a Torin but you could leave out like the side pouch. So decide to attack your build from many different angles. Decide to, you know, take on only what you can do. Um, so if there's an element of it that you can't do, you can definitely leave it out if you're not comfortable with it. Although I would encourage you to 
push through, test out your skills, and try to learn some new ones. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe, and make sure to tune in for the next one. If you don't want to miss it, turn on channel notifications. Thanks, you guys. Thank you.